Hey everybody, welcome. I don't owe the right to this song, any of these songs. Come on in, everybody. Come keep the company tonight. We want to share. How are you, darling? Good to see you tonight. Thank you for joining, sis. How was your day? How was your day? Hey, come on in. Great, glad to hear it. Good evening, darling. How are you?
Good evening, Henrietta. Good evening, everybody. Thank you for joining me tonight. Come on in. Bless. Glad to hear it. Glad to hear it. I'm doing good, sis. I got a lot going on. I am so, so busy. That it's not even funny how busy I am. Thank you for sharing. Hey, Sister Coffee, can you please share? Everybody that's up here, please share the video tonight our Facebook Live. Please share this video. Thank you, Henrietta, for reminding me. You see how I be forgetting, right? God bless you, Elvis Skinner. Sir, do you mind please sharing the video tonight, please? If you don't mind, can you please share this video on your page? I'm asking everybody if you can share this video on your page tonight, please. Thank you so much. We're getting ready to get started. We're just waiting to get some more people some more time to get on. But please share and let me know that you have shared this video. I would greatly appreciate it. I would greatly appreciate it. Thank you, Bridget. Thank you. Thank you, Elder. Just let me know when you share it, Elder Skinner, please. Thank you, Bridget. Yes, you are, Sister Henrietta, because I would have just forgot. Just as clear as day, I would have forgot. Oh, we can ready to get started. Give me one more minute. Two more minutes. Seven, ten minutes. I just need y'all to help me worship tonight for a couple of more minutes. I need to get my worship in. Please help me worship. Thank you, Elder Skinner. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you, everybody, for sharing. Thank you so much. And now we're getting ready to start in 30 more seconds. Let us get ready. We're going to pray for California tonight, everybody. Ouch. We're going to be praying for California tonight, everybody. I definitely, definitely want to pray for California tonight. Amen. So, let's 
Thank you, sir. You can't compare. My people from California, how is it going in Northern California? What's happening? Let us know what's happening. Let us know how we can pray, amen. We know that we're praying for the rain. Let us know what's going on. Please let us know, everybody. Come on, y'all. Help me. My brothers and sisters from California, please let me know. Let me know what you guys are asking us to pray for tonight. Please let us know. Elder Skinner, Henrietta, let us know what we should be praying for tonight for California. just did but okay amen everybody amen everybody thank you for joining me tonight thank you for joining me tonight amen Bridget we're going to cover California under the blood of Jesus yes I saw that on the news the skies are orange right now and have been all day what does that mean? That the fires are close? Elder Skinner, does that mean that the fires are close? Please let us know. I saw that on the news about that the fire, that the sky is orange. So just let us know what that means, sir. We are praying, amen. And we're going to hit this hard. Wow, it looked like even all day in Manteca, smoky and ash everywhere. Are they asking you guys to start evacuating, Henrietta, Elder Skinner? Henrietta, are y'all going to have to evacuate? Please let us know. Wow, are you gonna have to evacuate Elder Skinner? Okay. Are they getting control of the fires? Are the fires under control or they still don't have control over these fires because we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna change up our prayer tonight are they um are the fires being contained oh god We're going to change up our prayer tonight. Amen, Elder Skinner, you don't have to. What's not anymore? It's not contained anymore? Is that what you're saying? I don't know what you mean, Henrietta.
Wow, they have no control right now over the fire. Do what you hear. Okay, we have a few more over the weekend. Amen. Amen. Listen, I want to, um, we're really getting ready to co cover Florida. <coughs> we're getting ready to cover Florida and Florida. We might need to pray for Florida. We're getting ready to cover California under the blood of Jesus. We're getting ready to cover our brothers and sisters in California. Amen. I want to read this scripture and talk about this. Um, I had two scriptures in mind. And as you guys was talking, one of them, the Holy Spirit just really impressed in me to talk about tonight. So they have no control now. Wow, right now. It's so amazing because yesterday I was looking out the I was looking at my window because it was getting ready to storm. And as I was looking out my window, I was talking to one of my friends and I was like, if I started taking pictures of the clouds because the cloud was an orange color. It was like an orange. And she said to me, Darcy, is there a fire over there? And I said, no, there's no fire by me. But the clouds was like an orange tint to the thing. And it was so weird because we never had that before. We were like trying to figure out why is the cloud, why is there like an orange tint on this cloud? And I understand why we have to cover California. We must cover California. Let's pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, God, we thank you for this night. We thank you for day nine. We thank you for the ninth day of our, of our time of intercession, of the 30 days of intercession. Father, we thank you for it. Lord, we thank you that we know you hear us and you will always hear us when we pray. Father, I ask for strength tonight, strength like none other, that you give us the peace and the, the ability to release this word Holy Spirit, we welcome you tonight. We say, say what you want to say. Allow us to hear your voice. We repent for any sin that we've committed today, knowingly or unknowingly. We ask for your forgiveness. We say, create in us a clean heart and renew a right spirit within us. Wash us with his sop. Cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Wash us, dear God, and we shall be washed. Cleanse us and we shall be cleansed. Lord, we thank you for what you're getting ready to say tonight. We thank you for what you're getting ready to do tonight. Give us the words to speak life, to speak life in the midst of darkness. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Listen, everybody. I thank you, everyone that has shared the video. I appreciate that. I appreciate you sharing the video. I want to read something and um, I want to read something that it was a scripture. It was a scripture that we were talking about on a prayer line. So this is the scripture. I don't know if you guys can hear me. But this is a scripture. It's Ezekiel. It's Ezekiel 20. What is it? Hold on. It is Ezekiel 21 in the King James Version. Ezekiel 21 in the King James Version. I can't do this. This is going. Hold on. Hold on. I don't know why that's disturbing me tonight. But let me let me get this out. Ezekiel. Hey, Katrina. Thank you, Cousin Katrina. Thank you for watching. Amen. Listen, so what, what I'm reading tonight, I, this is going to bless you. I, I Honestly, this is going to bless you. This is going to bless you. Um, so it's Ezekiel. Turn with me, guys, if you can, if you have your Bibles. Ezekiel 21, and I believe it's the 25th verse.
Okay, the 25th verse. So Ezekiel 21. Sorry, my job is sending emails. I don't know if you can hear this. Like, I'm not supposed to be off right now. Um, thank you for watching, Sister Katrina. Thank you for watching, Elder Skinner and Sister Henrietta. Um, Sister Bridget, thank you guys for watching. Thank you for your constant support. I appreciate it. Um, verse 25 says this, And thou profane wicked prince of Israel, whose day is come, when iniquity shall have an end. Thus says the Lord God, remove the diadem and take off the crown. This shall not be the same exalt. This shall not be the same. Exalt him that is low and abase him that is high. I will overturn, overturn, overturn it and, out, and it shall be no more until he come whose right it is and I will give it him. I wanna talk about this for a couple of minutes, for a couple of minutes, but I'm gonna need you guys to talk back to me tonight. I'm gonna to need you guys to talk back to me tonight. I need your strength tonight. So I'm really gonna need you to talk back with me tonight. But I really wanna just, we were talking about this earlier and um, this was, it really just ministered to me. One of the things I wanna deal with, and this is what we're gonna pray, we're going to intercede tonight on behalf of these verses. That's what we're gonna do. So if you have your Bibles, just turn to Ezekiel 21, verse 25. And the first verse it says, verse 25, it says, and thou profane wicked prince of Israel, whose day is come when iniquity shall have an end. So what we're gonna do guys tonight is that we're gonna speak to these fires. We're gonna speak to these fires tonight. I really wanna focus on the fires tonight. Um, we're going to speak to these fires tonight. And one of the scriptures that it says is that, I'm going to read it again. And thou profane, profane and wicked prince is what it says. And thou profane and wicked prince of Israel, whose day is come when iniquity shall have an end. Tonight we're going to decree and declare that the iniquity of these fires, the iniquity of these fires, somebody help me tonight. We're going to decree and declare that the iniquity of these fires, amen, that we're gonna declare that today is the day whose day is, whose day is come when iniquity shall have an end. So we're going to declare, Father, in the name of Jesus, we declare tonight, according to your word, on behalf of our brothers and our sisters in California, we are declaring tonight, and we speak to this profane, wicked prince of Israel, this profane, wicked prince, in California, the Bible says that the enemy is the is the prince of the air, right? He's the prince of the air. And we understand that because he's the prince of the air, that 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 a lot of stuff happens in the in the in the airwaves, right? We know that a lot of things happen in the airwaves, and we as a body of believers need to know how to pray concerning the things in the airways. Now this chapter, this verse says in verse chapter 21, verse 25, and thou profane wicked prince of Israel. I'm reading it. And thou profane wicked prince, put your city, your state in of California, whose day is come. Father, we decree and declare that Today is the day of your visitation that these that that the day has come for this wicked prince of California when iniquity shall have an end. Father, we prophesy tonight. Come on, y'all, help me pray. God bless you, Mary Marie. I need you tonight. Thank you so much for joining me. I need your intercession and your strength, woman of God. Listen, we are decreeing and declaring these words from Ezekiel 21. 
chapter chapter 21 verse 25 we are speaking to the prince of the air that is sitting over california and that's causing these fires or that's influencing these fires we are speaking to these we're speaking to it tonight we are declaring that this is the end of this prince that is sitting over that is sitting over the state of California and bringing in these fires that are bringing in these fires and we and the word of the scripture says these words um, that it says is iniquity is iniquity has in so father we decree and we declare tonight that the fire the iniquity of the fire the iniquity of the fire, we decree and declare that tonight it has ended, that it is ended tonight. I need somebody to help me tonight. I need your help tonight. We got to break this thing up in the spirit of the bar. We have to break this up in the spirit realm we must break this up in the spirit realm and we know that last week or about a week or so ago when we saw when everybody was really praying on these fires and we started targeting them they went away they went away they went away but now they're coming back now they're coming back listen if we speak a word we stand on the word that is spoken so tonight god the word that we're speaking is that it shall end today is 9 9 2020 9 i talked about this last night marie 9 9 9 represents an end nine represents the end an end it represents an end a completion a completion a woman carries she gives birth in the ninth month she gives birth and she gives birth so she brings it to completion today is double nine nine this is the perfect time to decree and declare an end this hear me this is the perfect time tonight to decree and declare an end to this these fires in florida these fires in florida and i know that i'm focusing on the flyers listen if you need if you need something to come to an end tonight i need you to type it in type it in tonight because i know that i am praying for the fires to come to an end but god can do more than one thing at one time i want to say that again god can do more than one thing at one time so if there's something there it is henrietta if there's something that you need god to bring to an end type it in tonight type it in tonight um, Prophet Marie, please share this on your page. I'm asking everybody that's coming up to please share this video on their page. Woman of God, if you do not mind, please share this video, this, this live video on your page and just let me know that you have shared it and I would greatly appreciate it. Listen, we are decreeing and declaring an end. We are decreeing and declaring an end. An end to the fires. Thank you, doll. An end to the fires. Amen. I am in love with Prophet Marie Brown Strong. I love her. I've never met her, but I love her spirit. I thank God for this woman of God. And I know that we are connected in the spirit. I thank God for her. Listen, we are declaring an end tonight. I don't care what it is you're dealing with, but tonight is double nine. Oba, sheba baba higher. Listen to me. What I just got in the spirit was with with Idanandebohosha. We're dealing with the twins. We are releasing the twin anointing. The twin anointing tonight. We are releasing the twin anointing tonight. There is a twin manifold, a manifold anointing tonight. We are speaking to it tonight. They said, listen, they one of the scriptures that I just read you read to you, Ezekiel 20. 
I believe it's as equal to 21, I said. What was it? I really want us to come into agreement. Ezekiel 21, verse 25. Let's read it again, and then I'm going to go to the next verse. And thou profane wicked prince of Israel, whose day is come when iniquity shall have an end. I need you to prophesy tonight to your situation. God bless you, woman of God. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Listen, I need you to prophesy tonight and declare this scripture, declare this scripture that the profane, wicked prince of whatever your situation is, whose day is come when iniquity shall have an end, prophesy to your situation tonight and declare that it is going to end. Prophesy to your situation tonight. Listen, the the when this scripture, hear me, everybody. This scripture calls what they're facing, they're recognizing it as a prince. It's saying that the prince of this situation, it is declaring that the prince, bless you, sis, it is declaring that the prince. Hear me, everybody. The prince of your situation is wicked and it is profane. And Ezekiel says it's time for it to end. I don't know who I'm talking to tonight. I'm telling you, you came on at the right time tonight because God is releasing a word of the end for it to end. It is going to come to an end. Tonight, we're going to speak to the prince of the thing. Oh, God. Tonight, we're going to speak to the prince of the thing. Come on here. It's going to end in Jesus' name. Let's go on because these are our prayer points for tonight. Uh, the next verse says this. Thus says the Lord God. Here he goes. Remove the diadem and take off the crown. This shall not be the same. Exalt him that is low and abase him that is high. Let's go to verse. Let's start with 26 again. 25 says that it shall come to an end. It will come to an end. But verse 26 goes a further step. God spoke and said, this prince is getting ready to come to an end. Whatever your prince is, tonight we render him null and void. How do we render him null and void, everybody? It says it in verse 26. It says, take off his diadem. I'm going to read it again. I'm going to read it again. I'm going to read it again. I'm getting excited. It says, thus says the Lord God. God says this. Remove the diadem and take off the crown. A prince. Here we are. A prince. His authority is based on that crown. Right? That crown is a resemb it resembles his authority. When people see that crown, they know that only certain people can wear that particular crown. So they know that. But God says, take off the diadem. Take off the thing that's giving the prince the power and its authority. Oh, we're going to cast some things down tonight. I hope y'all ready. I hope y'all are ready. We're casting some things down tonight. So God says these words. He says, take off the diadem. And then he says, cast off the crown. The diadem and the crown, they represent power. Right now, we are seeing that these fires have power. Thank you so much, darling. And you dishonored and wicked one, the prince of Israel, whose day, there it is, will come 
at the time of your final reckoning and punishment. These are, thank you, Henrietta. I love that. This is what we're declaring tonight. Come on. I feel, I'm telling you, there is something that's happening. I, I'm praying for California, but I'm prophesying to you that is ready for the things that you're going through to come to an end. I don't know who I'm talking to tonight, but I'm speaking to you. You that have been dealing with some things and you know that the warfare is great and you know it's something beyond you. You know that it's a power that's, that, that, that is causing this. You know it's demonic. Let me say for what it is. You know it's demonic. The Bible says that, that Satan comes to kill, steal, and destroy. What's going on in California? That fire is killing, it's stealing, and it's destroying. What you're going through is killing, stealing, and destroying. And because of that truth, we know that it's demonic, but we have a remedy here. God says these words. He says, take off its power. Cast down, cast down, take off its diadem. And come on, cast down. Let me get the scripture right because I got I to gotta say it right tonight. Thus says the Lord God, remove the diadem and take off the crown. Remove the diadem. I got to look up to see what the diadem, what the word diadem means, because this is blessing me. I hope it's blessing y'all because it's blessing me. It's blessing me. It's blessing me. It's blessing me. Let me get this real clear because I want to talk about this. Listen, okay. It says a jewel crown of headband worn as a symbol. Oh, my God. God, worn as a symbol of sovereignty. Here we go. A diadem. Okay, the authority or dignity symbolized by a diadem. A diadem is a jeweled crown or headband worn as a symbol of sovereignty. Oh, this is about to get good, y'all. This is about to get good. This is about to be, it's about to get good. It's about to get good. I feel this in my spirit. Listen, so a diadem is a crown, but it's a jewel crown. It is a jewel crown. Hear me, everybody. So when people look at it, I feel God. When people look at it, thank you, Henrietta. I love you. When people look at that crown they see the beauty of the crown but when we look at it in the spirit realm we understand that the symbol of the crown is representing sovereignty that means what did the devil do what is what did satan do he tried when he was in heaven to make himself above god to be sovereign so now we're dealing with this diadem, the Bible says, take off the diadem. Take the power off of the enemy. His purpose is always trying to outdo God. We know Satan's purpose is always trying to outdo God. That is his purpose. So that's why God's first thing he says is it's going to come to an end. This is a prince. This is a wicked and profane prince. One version says, dishonored and wicked one, the prince of Israel, whose, whose day will come to the time of your final reckoning and punishment. I don't know about you, but there are some things that I am dealing with that I am decreeing and declaring that it is time that it comes to its final reckoning and punishment. I don't know who I'm talking to. Everybody may not can get with this word. You might be okay going through this demonic warfare that you're going through. But one thing I know is that I do not have to go through this, this demonic warfare. I don't have to do it. I recognize where it's coming from. God has spoke to me in the book of Ezekiel. What did he say? He said to what? He said this thing is coming to an end. It's coming to an end. 
is coming to an end. Who am I talking to? Take off the power. Take the power off the enemy. Great. Come on here, Marie. Listen. This is, I'm telling you, God, the Bible is giving us a way to let us know that we do not have to continue to deal with this warfare. I'm speaking to my brothers and sisters in California. Those of you that are watching it, you do not have to keep dealing with this prince. With the prince of the air. You don't have to keep dealing with him. God said in Ezekiel, it's coming today. It's time for it to come to an end. All we need is some people to believe the word of the Lord. If the word of the Lord is saying that today is coming to an end, it is time for it to get its reckoning and judgment. Why are we still allowing it to be to continue? Why are we allowing these fires to continue? Verse 26. Thus says the Lord God, remove, remove the mitre, remove the diadem, the headband, remove it, take off the crown. Things shall not remain as they have been. Oh my God. Do you understand how powerful this scripture is? Are y'all really getting how powerful? God bless you, Linda. Linda, this word is for you tonight. I don't know you, Miss Linda, but this word is for you tonight. God is saying for you, woman of God, that it is time that what you're going through, it is time for it to come to its end. It's been a season of a thing, but the Lord said it is time for it to come to an end. The Lord said to tell you, I hear God, that I'm removing the diadem. I'm removing what looked like the beauty of a thing, but it's been deceptive. It's actually been a form of deception. When other people look at it, they think it's a beauty thing. It's a beautiful thing. Like you should be happy with it. But God is saying, no, it is a spirit of deception that's blinding the people. But God said to tell you, he's removing the diadem and he's taking down its crown. What that means, Linda, is that he's removing the diadem, the deception of the beauty of it and he's taking down the crown the meaning of the taking down the crown he's taking away its authority and its power Linda I'm talking to you tonight God is removing the power of this thing that has been troubling you that you have been dealing with God said to let the number that tonight he is decreeing and declaring, there it is, it's coming to an end, Linda. It's coming to an end. Hey, Lucy, grab this word for yourself. It's coming to an end. I don't know what you're dealing with, Sister Linda, but all I know is that people that are looking into your situation, they don't see the deception of it. They look at it and it looks like it made, like for what they're looking at, it's like, oh, it's not harmless. It's not a harmless thing. That's how they're looking at it, like it's not harmless. But God sees it in the spirit that he, we understand that it is a demonic thing that the enemy sets up and it's causing the people that should be having your back. It is causing the people to walk in a spirit of deception because when you're saying, no, for real, guys, this is a big deal. The enemy is putting a spirit of deception in there. The deception is this, hear me, the diadem. There's a beauty, there's something that, that people look at it and see that it's attractive. But God said, remove the diadem and he's going to cast down the crown. He's going he's to take down the diadem and he's going to cast down the crown. The crown, the authority of the situation is coming to an end. The crown represents authority. 
It represents power. The crown is coming to an end. Somebody, I need you to declare that tonight the authority of the situation is coming to an end. It's coming off. Tonight we're removing its authority. Tonight we're stripping its authority. Tonight we're stripping its power. Oh God, oh God, oh God. I'm telling you, I feel God in this. I feel God. I feel God in this. I feel God. Yetamashaya. I feel the Holy Ghost of God. Let me get this scripture right. Hey, Michelle. Hi, Marie. I, I declare this word. I declare this word. Listen, let's read it again. Ezekiel 21, verse 26. I'm jumping to 26. I'm jumping to 26. Thus says the Lord God, remove the diadem and take off the crown. Tonight we're removing its power and we are taking off the crown. Tonight we are removing its power and we are taking off the crown. Tonight we are removing its power and we are taking off the crown. I'm speaking to people tonight. I don't know what happened to Sister Linda, but I'm speaking this right now to the people that are listening tonight. And I am telling you that, that the enemy, what you're going through, the enemy is putting a facade up there and people are looking at your situation and they're looking at it as if uh, you're making a big deal or it's not as that, it's not that serious that you, that you think it is but tonight God is saying oh I see the enemy he's making it he's making it deception he's causing another spirit of deception listen he says he says take off the diadem take off the diadem a diadem is a crown but it has jewels in it so when people look at it oh I feel God when people look at it they see the beauty of it they don't see what we see in the spirit. We know that this warfare is demonic. But the enemy is coming with the falseness and it is pretending. I need y'all to share this video. All of you that's coming on. This is a word from the Lord. I need y'all to share. Michelle, share this video. And share this video. I need y'all to share this video. This is a rhema word from the Lord that's getting ready to cause shackles to be broken. It's getting ready to cause people to walk in a place of deliverance. I need you, please, once you share it, let me know, Michelle. Let me know when you share it. And let me know when you share it. Now all of a sudden, my nose is starting to itch, y'all. Oh my gosh, my nose is starting to itch. Allergies. Listen, listen to me. It's a smoke screen. There it is. That's a better word. Thank you, Henrietta. Y'all pray for me. Y'all pray for me. Pray for me. I don't even know where this is coming from. Pray for me. Right now, the enemy is mad. He does not want this word to be released. He does not want this word to be released. This is the warfare that I'm talking about. This is the warfare that I'm talking about, y'all. This is the warfare that I'm talking about. So, Father, I decree and declare that Satan, you're defeated. You are defeated. You're not going to come and you're not going to interrupt anything. We are, I'm going to release the word of the Lord. The people of God are, are casting down. They are casting down every high thing that exalts itself against the knowledge of God. They're taking off the diadem. They're taking off. They're, they're removing the diadem and they are casting down your crown. They are taking the crown from you. Listen, the crown is a, a place of authority. Some of us have given the enemy authority, meaning we have given the enemy a legal right to come in and do what he's doing. Why? Because some of the words that we are speaking, we are allowing the enemy. Thank you, Father. I think they're not both Shanda Baku. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you. Thank you. We are allowing the enemy. We are allowing the enemy to, 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 to give him legal access to us to our situations, to our body, to 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 what to our finances. We are allowing the enemy. We're giving him legal right. But tonight God is telling you to take back your legal right. 
Thank you, Michelle. God bless you for being obedient. Thank you. Thank you so much. Listen, God is saying to us tonight that he wants you to take back your authority. Snatch it back. Take it back. We have death and life is in the power of our tongue. We have the authority to speak life. We have the authority to speak life. Come on. Come on. Who am I prophesying to tonight? You have allowed the enemy by your words. You have allowed the enemy legal right. But tonight we take back the legal right. We decree and declare that the, that the diadem is coming off. We are taking off the crown. We are taking off the crown. I got to get the wording right because it's a specific. Removing, we are removing the diadem. Here we are, guys. Tonight we are removing the diadem and we are taking off the crown. We are removing the diadem and taking off the crown. Tonight we are removing the diadem, the deceptive thing, the thing that the enemy is, is, is causing people to look at. Somebody said it clear. I believe it was you, Henrietta. We are, we are removing the smoke screen. We are removing, there it is. Thank you. Thank you, Henrietta. Thank you, Lucy. We are removing the smoke screen. I prophesy to you tonight to let you know what you're dealing with is just a smoke screen. The Bible says that the enemy comes in like a roaring, he comes as like a roaring lion. It's a smoke screen. He's got us frantic because he's putting up a smoke screen. Oh my God. He's putting up a smoke screen. He's making you think that this diadem, this beauty of a situation, he's making it look like he's presenting it. He's presenting it of something that, oh, it's, it's a beautiful thing. And everybody goes to this. And we all have some good days. And we all have some bad days. It's not a big deal. You're over-dramatizing it. You don't have to, everything is not a demon. Yeah, if it's coming to steal, kill, and destroy, it's demonic. If it's coming to kill, steal, and destroy, if you see those three attributes, it is demonic. And you have to take off the diadem. Not only do we have to take off the diadem, but the next part of that scripture says what? Let's read it again. Let's read it again. The next part of that scripture says, take off the crown. Remove the diadem and take off the crown. Remove the diadem and take off the crown. We release the we release the authority of the enemy because God has a super authority. And right now we superimpose the will of God in our life, in our situation, over every area of our life, over our health, over our finances, over the fires in California. We superimpose the will of God. Tonight, we take authority. We remove the smoke screen and we take down the crown. We take the, the power of the enemy and we break it into half and we decree and declare his power is no more. Verse 25 says this, the iniquity is coming to an end. Who am I talking to tonight? Who am I talking to tonight? The iniquity is coming to an end. Verse 25 says that is it. The day of reckoning over this prince. The prince of the air, the prince of this situation, the prince of turmoil, the prince of sickness, the prince of disease, the prince of lack. Oba, shende na raba, tenanda bobo, the prince of divorce, the prince of separation, the prince of turmoil. Tonight, 
We strip its power off of our life and our situation. We strip its power. Come on, I need somebody to I need somebody to come into agreement with me right now. Let's decree and declare, type it in. Tonight we strip every prince of its power. We strip him of his diadem and we strip him of his, of his crown. I need you to type it in, I will wait. Tonight, we strip every prince. Oh, Bashande Baba Basaya. Come on. Tonight, we strip. I need you to type it in. We're going, we're going, we, tonight, we're not playing with the enemy. Tonight, we strip every prince of his power and his authority. We bring an end to the smoke screen that the enemy is presenting to bring confusion, to bring deception. We break the spirit of deception tonight in the name of Jesus. And we command that the power of the enemy is weakening now. And a matter of fact, it is breaking in the name of Jesus. Tonight, we remove the authority of the enemy and we command it to break. We command it to sever. We command it to be scattered and to be destroyed in several different pieces. We are removing the diadem and we are taking off the crown. Come on, Linda, you're back. Come on. I'm telling you, this is the word of the Lord. We, um, Ezekiel 21, we started at verse 25. The word of the Lord was, this is coming to an end. Today is September 9, 9, 9, 9, 2020. This is the double. This is coming to a double end. Oh, come on. Who am I talking to? Everybody, Brian, I'm asking you, please share this. Please share this, sir. Amanda, God. Amanda, please share this video. Um, Brother Brian, please share this video on your page. Michelle, I don't know if I spoke to you, but as you come on, please share this video. I know this is a word of the Lord. God is releasing his people. God is releasing his people. Dana, please share the video. God is releasing his people tonight. I feel that there is an authority that's being broken off of your life tonight. Someone, the enemy has, 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 has put himself on the throne. A diadem, it talks about it's a crown, but it's a crown of, it represents a crown of sovereignty. This enemy has made himself so bold that, that he's trying to succumb and over to get to succumb or to, or to overindulge what God has said. Let me say it like I'm hearing it. He's trying to override. Thank you, Holy Spirit. He's trying to override the word, the word of the Lord that's over your, over your life. That's why the Lord said, remove the diadem, remove it, send it somewhere else. That's why he says what? The next, the verse says to cast it down, the crown. Father, we break the power and the authority over the enemy that is plaguing your people tonight. This is an ongoing situation. Every time you think it's over, here he comes again. But tonight, we cast it down. Tonight, we remove, we remove its diadem. We strip off its authority. Listen, let's go to the next verse. Let's go to the next verse. Let's go to the next verse. I got to go to the next verse. The next verse is number 27. It says, I will. This is the Lord. Oh, this is the Lord talking. Hey, Minnie. Thank you, Minister Lily Bryant. Thank you for joining us. Listen, the word of the Lord says, I will overturn, overturn, overturn it. 
and it shall be no more until he comes whose right it is and I will give it him. Who am I talking to tonight? Who am I talking to tonight? I'm going to read it again. I'm going to read it again. God said, I, God, this is God talking. God said, I will overturn, overturn, overturn it. And it shall be no more until he comes whose right it is. And I will give it him. Listen, I prophesy to you tonight that it is your turn now. Come on here. I prophesy to you tonight that it is your turn now. I prophesy to you, Minister Brown, Minister Bryant, Michelle. Come on, Brian Bird, Lucy, Michelle Walker, Henrietta, Dana. Everybody that is on this Facebook Live, especially those that shared this video, I prophesy to you to get a book home. Penda mandido no no bokusta ba hikandi oshama that it is your turn now. Verse twenty six. I gotta read it again because it's blessing me. It's blessing me real good. Verse twenty seven. God is speaking, and God said, "That's right. Type it in. It's my turn now." God is speaking. God says, "I will overturn." God says, I will overturn. I will overturn. He pronounced it three times. One for the Father, one for the Son, and one for the Holy Spirit. What that says to me is whoever the right is, and I'm prophesying that I'm talking to you tonight, you have heaven backing you up. Come on. Come on. He, he said it three times. I will overturn. I will overturn. I will overturn. And I will overturn it three times. That means God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit is right now. I feel the power of God. The power of God right now. God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit is working and overturning things on your behalf tonight. As I'm speaking to you. As I'm speaking to you. Who am I talking to tonight? Come on, y'all better grab this tonight. You better grab this tonight. It is my turn. The Holy Ghost of God, God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit is backing you up. He is overturning this situation and he's stripping the prince, the enemy that's working against you. He has been stripped tonight and God is overturning it. Oh God, he is overturning it. The Holy Spirit is the power force of the Godhead. So God the Father is in operation overturning this for you, Brother Brian. Bridget, God the Holy, Jesus the Holy Spirit, God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. You have heaven backing you up tonight. You have heaven, Leah. You have heaven backing you up tonight. Heaven is backing you up tonight. Marie Brown, I come into agreement with you. I agree with the word of the Lord concerning you tonight. That heaven is backing you up tonight in the name of Jesus. There it is. Overturn it. Overturn it. Let's read it some more. Let's read it some more. Come on, guys. Let's read it some more. Hold on. Okay, listen, I want to I wanna do this real quick. So here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. Listen, let's go back to that, let's go back to that chapter, verse 27. I will overturn, says God the Father. Overturn, says God the Son. Overturn, says God the Holy Spirit. I will, oh, he said he's going to overturn it. 
overturn it. I don't know what your it is tonight, but it's who stand them all. Sabah. Listen, I don't know what your it is tonight, but I've come to prophesy and release to you prophetically that that it that has been plaguing you, it has been overturned tonight. It, it's verse 25. Verse 25 says, the prince whose day is come, its iniquity shall have an end. It's over. It is over. Who am I talking to tonight? It is over. Jesus said it like this on the cross. It is finished. I prophesy to everyone that is going through hardship, that's going through turmoil, that's going through the that that's going through drama, warfare. I prophesy to you tonight that the that the word of the Lord is it is finished. It is over that God is he's turning it or he's overturning it on your behalf. The next part of this scripture says these words. Oh my God. And God, and this is what he says. He said, he said it will be no more and he will come and he will come. God, he's going to give it to who right it is. Listen, as believers, we have legal right. David said, bless the Lord, all my soul, and forget not all his benefits. As believers, we have legal right. Listen, the enemy is trying to tell you what God told you he was going to give you. You don't deserve it. He says he's been throwing in. Oh, shut up. He's been throwing in. He's been throwing in smoke screens. He's been throwing up smoke screens to make you think that this does not belong to you. But what God has for you, it is for you. God is overturning it. Oh, come on. I need you to grab hold of this right now. Ariella, please share this on your Facebook Live. Please share this on your Facebook on your Facebook page. Everybody that's coming on tonight, please take a minute of your time. Please take a minute of your time and share this on your Facebook and just let me know that you shared it. God bless you. Listen, beloved, we I, this word is coming out so strong out of me tonight because God is speaking to his people. God is speaking to his people. There it is, Minister Lily. That's right. What he said he's going to do, he will do it. They wrote a song, what God has for me is for me. God is overturning your it tonight. It is being overturned. It's nothing too big. This is why God says it three times, because he wants you to understand the heaven is backing you up on this. This right here, oh my God, this right here, Sister Lucy, this right here is a job for the Holy Spirit. It's a job for God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. The Bible says the battle, this battle right here is not ours. Thank you, Are thank you, Ariella. God bless you, woman of God. This battle is not ours. God says, read it for yourself. God says, I will overturn, overturn, overturn it. God says it, Marie. This is not, this is not Darcy saying it. God said, I will overturn. He reiterates it the second time overturn then the third time he's specific and says i'm overturning it just in case you don't know what i'm talking about the third time is the charm he says i'm overturning it i'm letting the enemy know i'm not just overturning but i'm letting my people know that it is being destroyed Sila Etamando Bocusta Baheshika Remekindo Boho Satamashika Bahaya Ramandio Socoho Satabashi Kamandia 
Remekindo boho sata makashe tadabaka. Ramando boho siya masha tabakaya. O Ramando boho sata tadabakaya. O Ramande de 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 yosha babahaya. God says I'm overturning it. What I just saw in the spirit, this is so weird. And the Holy Spirit is going to give me a revelation of it. But what I just saw in the spirit, I just saw somebody jumping rope. <laughs> I just literally, I don't even know why I saw that, but I just saw somebody jumping rope. I saw you jumping rope. And the rope keeps coming up and under, coming up and under. And you find yourself constantly trying to jump over. Oh my God, who am I talking to? You find yourself constantly trying to jump over the situation. But, oh, here it is. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Because, see, sometimes we get it all wrong. We, you see yourself constantly taking, turn, trying to jump over the situation. Let me tell you what the Holy Spirit just broke down. Wow. Okay, Brian. Let me tell you what the Holy Spirit just dropped in my spirit as I was saying that. He says this, the word of the Lord. I love God. You guys don't understand how much I love God. Because he's so funny. He's fierce. He's so funny. Let me give you the revelation. He says in verse 27, let's read it. I will overturn, overturn, overturn. What do you do when you're jumping rope? It's turning. It's... Don't y'all love God? Don't you love God when he does things like that? I saw somebody jumping rope. I saw somebody jumping rope in the spirit. The Lord is showing me that you're jumping rope, but God is saying, I'm overturning. That's what happens when you're jumping rope. They're turning as you're jumping. Oh my God. Somebody is getting ready to leap into your overturned situation. I saw it just as clear as day in the spirit. I saw a town, you're just jumping rope. But, but God says, I will overturn. That's the rope. I will overturn. That's the rope. I will overturn. That's the rope. God is saying, I will overturn, overturn, overturn it. Somebody has just jumped out of your situation. You have just jumped out of your situation. I saw you jumping rope. I just saw you jumping rope. My God in heaven. My God in heaven, God is overturning. That is so powerful. I get joy out of stuff like this. Y'all forgive me. But I get joy when the Holy Spirit does something like that. Because we're talking about overturn, overturn. And then in the spirit, out the blue, I see somebody jumping rope. Oh my God. The Holy Spirit is overturning your situation. I dare somebody that wherever you are right now to get up and just begin to jump up and down. I did. Come on, a leap of faith. Come on, Marie. Stay out my spirit. I need you to right where you are right now. Right now. I, if you got to put the phone down, put the computer down. I need you by a leap of faith. I need you, oh God, to drop all my debe kinda boho sata masaya. And as you're jumping, know that God is overturning your situation. Sometimes, listen, you have to do prophetic death. You got to do things prophetically. Prophetic de decrees. Come on. I need you to get up and just start jumping rope. Just start jumping rope and know that as you jump in Lucy, you better jump as high as you can because as you are jumping, you have to know that God is turning the situation for you. God said, I will overturn. I will overturn. I saw in the spirit that somebody was jumping rope. I see a girl that she was in the rope and she was jumping rope. That is the Lord letting us know that is him overturning the situation on your behalf. Come on here. I can't see you, but I tell you, prophetic direction will get you the victory every time. God takes the foolish things to confound the wise. He takes the foolish things to confound the wise. As you're jumping, begin to decree and say, Lord, turn it, turn it, overturn it overturn it overturn it come on i know it doesn't make sense i know the people here come back call summer 
The people in your house are probably going to look at you like you're crazy. But I am telling you, this prophetic act is getting ready to get you the victory. I need you to begin to jump rope in the spirit and watch God turn your situation around. God said, I am overturning it. I saw the vision of him turning it. I saw the vision of God turning the rope. He's turning the situation. He's turning the situation. You have got the Father, got the Son, and got the Holy Spirit turning this rope for you tonight. Lucy, you bet. I, Lucy, I pray you jump in rope, girl. If you jump rope, somebody just said I did it. Just type it in and let me know that you did it. If you actually jump rope tonight, type it in. Come on, type it in. Just say, just say I did it. Say me or something. Just let me know. Jumping. There it is, Lucy. Come on. If you did it, Brian, does that mean you jump rope? Let me know, Brian. Come on, God is doing something right now. There's some things that's breaking, Brian, on your behalf tonight. There's some things that God is breaking on your behalf tonight. There's some things. Brian, are you an athlete? Brian, are you an athlete? Thank you, Krista, for jumping. Thank you, darling. Thank you, who's that? Minister Lily, thank you for jumping. Thank you, Brian, for jumping. Marquita. Y'all, please share this video on your page. Michelle, thank you for jumping. Jeffrey Strong, thank you for jumping. I'm assuming that you jumped. Bridget, thank you for jumping. Brian, are you a athlete? Brian, I need to know if you are an athlete. If you are an athlete, brother Brian, please speak to me. Lucy, I did it. Bridget, I did it. Brian, no ma'am, laugh out loud. You said no ma'am. Brian, I see you jumping, but you jumped. You did jump, right? And maybe I see you as an athlete in the spirit. An athlete is someone that has a discipline. An athlete is someone that, that, that has strong endurance. This is a season, Brother Brian, that God is going to have you walk as an as a, as a athlete in the spirit. He is going, you laughed at that, you said laugh that loud. He's going to have you walk as an athlete in the spirit, Brother Brian. Right now, God is giving ready to give you strong endurance. He's giving ready to give you strong endurance. As an athlete, you're getting ready to endure. Apostle, jump for us. Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. Thank you, God. He's getting ready to, 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 oh, Shonda Bryant. I hear the Lord saying that he's extending some things for you. That is why he's giving you endurance. This, this is a season of of extension. This is a season of endurance. He is making you an athlete in the spirit. You're going to be able to endure. You're going to be able to endure. Endure. You are going to be an athlete in the spirit. And as you be, as God, okay, God, as he begins to, to make you an athlete, you are going to be like, oh, so I see like muscles on you, muscles on you, brother Brian. I see muscles on you. The muscles is getting ready to give you the strength. And it's that the muscles come from what you've been able to endure. So what you're going through right now, what you have been able to endure, Brother Brian, is going to give you muscles in the spirit realm. That means you're going to have a power and an authority in the spirit realm, sir. You're going to, God bless you, Crystal. You're going to have a power in the, God is literally giving you muscles because of what you have endured and what you're getting ready to endure. Know that God is ex giving you a place of extension. He's extending certain things for you because he's equipping you to be athletic to be able to endure things, to be able to go through endurance. Athletes have endurance. And that is what the Lord is releasing to you tonight, my brother, the spirit of endurance in this hour. And when you come out of this, when you come out of this, Brian, 
When you come out of this, the Lord wants you to know that you are going to, I mean, it's, 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 it's going to be a testimony. It is going to be a testimony. <laughs> no problem. It's going to be a testimony, man of God. Listen, I prophesied about 10 people tonight that jumped and that's not a shame to jump. I prophesy to you that you are getting ready to see God overturn your situation. Even as now, I'm telling you, somebody is going to get a phone call to let you know, oh my God, I don't know who's expecting a call from the bank. Amen, sir. I don't know who it is that's expecting a call from the bank. I don't know if you have a loan. I don't know if it's a house loan. I don't know what it is, but you're literally expecting a call from the bank. Who am I talking to tonight? Who am I talking to tonight? You're literally expecting a call from the bank. God bless you, Jeffrey Strong. I see that they have you jumping tonight. God bless you, Apostle. Thank you so much, sir, for jumping for people tonight. Amen. And I just bless you with a double anointing, sir. Ade boko shande bahaya. Yes, oh, rama shande de de roboho shata baba bahaya. Brother, oh, Apostle, I release a double anointing on you tonight. I release a double anointing on you tonight, sir. A, a word of sustaining. God is giving you sustaining power, man of God. Sustaining power. Sustaining power. The power to sustain. I see the Lord shifting some things for you, man of God. He's moving things around in this season. He's moving things around. Don't fight it. Don't fight it. Don't fight it. Don't fight it, sir. Allow God to move the things around. Allow God, sir, man of God, apostle, allow God to move the things around. It is the Lord's doing and it is wonderful. It is marvelous in his sight. You don't see the full picture and some things that he's moving around, you don't quite want him to touch it. Don't quite want him to touch it. Not that, not that God, not that. You don't quite want him to touch it. But allow God to do with the The scripture that just came to my mind was about was about the scripture that just came to my mind, man to God. It was about when when the Bible talks about the um the clay and that how God is the potter. And the clay was marred in the potter's hand, but he broke it and he made it again another vessel. Ah, God. He made that down de boku rama, soto boku shata makaya. And this season, man, the God, God is making it again another vessel. And the season, man of God, hear me, God is making it again another vessel. He's taking it. And he's making it again another vessel. I don't know if you heard this video from the beginning, but please go and listen to it again. Because what the word of the Lord was tonight, sir, was that God is stripping the prince. He's stripping the prince. He's taking off his, he's removing the diadem. He's removing the diadem and he's taking off the crown. And that is literally what God is doing in your life. He's stripping some, he's stripping things that had authority that should not have had authority. He's literally removing its power. He's removing its power and he's giving you the right. Ah, God, the 27 verse, I believe he says he's overturning, overturning, overturning it. So he's stripping the power from the prince that has assumed an authority over you, the ministry, the thing. It's like they, they had like some type of stronghold to it. But God is stripping that prince, that power from them, and he's giving it to the baste, to Moko Shabbat, to whose right it is, and that is you. 
It is your right to have everything that God said that you were supposed to have. I prophesy to you, man, to God, that your season of delay is over. I prophesy to you, man of God, your season of delay is over. Come on, somebody type that in. The season of delay is over. Go back to verse 25. He said, the prince, he said, the iniquity of it ends. I release the word, a prophetic word over you, your wife, your ministry, that what, oh, what the enemy, oh, what the enemy thought he was going to take you through for another year. Hear me, man of God. What the enemy thought he was going to take you through for another year. God said, tell him tonight. God said, tell him tonight that it has ended. You will not endure and go through another year of what he just brought you out of. There was a season of something that the enemy it kept recurring. But God said, you're not going through it another year. There it is. Thank you, everybody. The season of delay is over. You will not go through this another year. God bless you, Elder Skinner. Man of God, hear the prophetic word of the Lord. This thing, the enemy that you see today, hey, go shatamakaya. You under Bokusta Masheke, you will see it again no more forever. God is literally bringing it to an end. Prophetic direction, Prophet Marie and Apostle Jeffrey, what I need you to do is whenever you guys get a chance to come together, grab hold and read these verses, Ezekiel 21. I feel God, I need you to read these verses, Ezekiel 21, the 21st chapter, beginning from the 25th to I believe the 27th verse, where it says overturn it, overturn it. I need you to read it. I need y'all to grab hands together and declare the scripture that God is overturning it and he's giving He's literally taking it out of the hands of the people that have the control and he's giving it to you guys tonight, whose right it is. I come to prophesy to you when I'm done. I come to prophesy to you, Apostle, Mar Apostle Jeffrey and Prophet Marie. I come to prophesy to you tonight that God said it is your legal right. You're supposed to own it. It belongs to you. He says, I'm giving it to whose right it is. It belongs to you. Thank you, man of God. I know you will do it. Amen. I thank you for that. It belongs to you. The enemy that you see today, you will see again no more forever. I prophesy that. I prophesy that over you and your ministry. Amen. Do it. 21, beginning at verse 25, down to 27. You can read the whole chapter if you want, but those are the key verses. I need you to remove the diadem, to take off the crown, to declare that it has ended. That reign is over. That prince's reign is over. I don't know what it is, but that reign of the prince is over. The power is broken. God has stripped its power and authority. And God says, I will, I will overturn. I will overturn it. I will overturn. I will overturn. He is overturning it on your behalf. I need y'all to come together and declare that word. Amen. Listen, my time is up. I pray that you guys were blessed. I pray that you guys were blessed. Father, I bless their ministry. I bless the ministry of Apostle and Prophet Strong. Father, I thank you. I thank you for the word of the Lord says, I will do a new thing. Bless you, sir. I will do a new thing. That's the song. I will do and I will do a new thing in you. I don't got no voice. So I'm not going to try to sing it. I will do a new thing in you. Listen, that is the word of the Lord. Y'all need to play that song tonight. God is saying, I will do a new thing in you. 
Yes, Marie, the power is broken. God did it tonight. That enemy is gone. It's done. God is saying, I will do a new thing in you. So, Father, I decree this word over them tonight. I decree this word over them tonight and over their ministry, over their family, over their marriage. God, I decree it tonight that you are doing a new thing. You are doing a new thing. Even the preached word. I don't know why God is that, but listen, even the pre, I have to obey God. I have to obey God. Listen, even the preached word, Prophet Marie and an Apostle Strong, even the preached word, hear me, I see you, Apostle. Even the preached word is getting ready to be different. It's getting ready to be new. Set yourself, prepare yourself, get ready. Even the preached word is getting ready to be new. Henrietta, listen, I love you, darling. We are before I hang, before I end, we are coming in agreement for California. I have not forgotten my California brothers and sisters. Henrietta, you know I love you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for being with me. Amen on tonight. God bless you. Listen, Apostle. Even the preached word is getting ready to be different. The sound of the ministry is changing. The sound of the ministry is changing. I'm going to leave it alone tonight. I'm going to leave it alone. The preach word is getting ready to be different. It's not going to be the same. It's not going to be the same. And I don't know because I, you know, I don't know, but I'm telling you it's different. There's another sound. There is another sound that God is releasing. There is another sound that God is releasing out of the pulpit, the Lord says. Out of the pulpit, there's another sound. There's another sound that God is releasing out of the pulpit. Wow. Wow. Amen. Hallelujah. God bless you, Apostle. Amen. Amen. God bless you, sir. Amen. It is so. It is so. It is so. Listen, I love when Apostle Marie comes on and she just gives all her members. God bless you, woman of God. I thank you. I thank you so much for your support tonight. Bridget, Yes. Oh, God bless you. I received that tonight. I received that tonight. Amen. I really received that, Bridget. Thank you so much for thinking about me. Amen. Keep on preaching. <laughs> Elder Skin, I'm, finna, I'm about to go to bed. Um, He's doing a new thing. I, let me see if I can find it. I want to end with that song because that is a song for your ministry, um, prophet and apostle. It's another sound. I feel the power of the Lord tonight. I feel the power. I feel the power of the Lord tonight. I feel the power of the living God tonight. Let me see if I can find this song. Hallelujah. Oh, that's not what I want. Oh, I will do it. No, it's not what I want. Oh, Lord, Jesus, okay. Well, I don't even know who sings it. I will do a new thing in you. I got the wrong words. I don't know who sings that song. Maybe y'all can let me know who sings that song. Okay, let's try it this time. Y'all ready? Clap because God is doing a new thing. Somebody clap your hands because God's doing a new thing. Oh, 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 oh. Lift your hands all over this building. Just give me a couple of minutes. I gotta let this song. 
Thank you for your birthday. I release this over your ministry. Whatever you're asking for. Yes, God. Yes, God. Speak, Lord. Say the Lord. Yeah, da 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 No Hey, Robo Kusi Amasika, Remando Bohusta Kabashi, Receive it, receive it, receive it Marie I thank you so much I receive it I receive it thank you Jesus glory to God I receive it thank you so much I receive it thank you Marie Bless you, Pastor Skinner. 
I feel the presence of the Lord. God is up to something tremendous. He's up to something tremendous. Hold on. Don't give up. Wait on the Lord. I receive it, woman of God. I receive it. Thank you so much. Thank you, sir. I receive it. I receive it, Sister Marie. I receive it. Thank you, Father. Father, we praise you for tonight. We thank you for everything you have spoken to us tonight. We thank you for everything you've spoken tonight. Lord, we decree and declare, God, that this is no small stuff. We decree and declare, God, that not one word. I, 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 I come in the spirit of Samuel tonight, God. And I decree and declare that not one prophetic word, not one word uttered out of my mouth will fall to the ground. I decree and declare that every word will take up root and grow and manifest itself because, saith the Lord, because you've spoken it tonight. We thank you for full manifestation. I see you, Marie. Hold up, I shine the prophet. I see you. It's going to be big. It's going to be so big. It's tremendous. It's a tremendous thing. Say it's the Lord. Hold up, man, baby, 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 I saw my whole time. I need some intercessors, so please be praying for me. This is 30 days of intercession that we will be doing for the month of September. I really, really need some intercessors to please pray for me during these 30 days. This is only day nine. We have 21 more days to go. If you're going to be praying for me, just type me in. Just put the word me. So I'll know that you'll be praying for me these next 21 days. Just these next 21 days. Thank you, Brian. Just type in the word me. If you're feeling that the Lord is saying, yeah, cover her, please type that in. Amen. I need some intercessors that's going to be covering me these next 21 days. Amen. I believe that there is something that the Lord is doing, that the Lord is going to do after these 21 days. Amen. Thank you, Brian. I received that. Thank you, sir. Ora mashata. Thank you, Lucy. I received that. Amen. Thank you, Minister Lily. I thank you for your prayers and your intercession. Thank you, Oriella. Thank you so much. I received that. Michelle, thank you. Marie, I know you got me. Amen. Krista, thank you, darling. That's my niece, everybody. That's my niece. Amen. Thank you. I need I need intercessors. Thank you, Marie. Amen. Thank you for these next 21 days. If you would just call out my name, call out my name. God is up to something great. He is up to something great. Anytime that you guys are free, please come on. If I'm not on by eight, I'll be on by nine every day for the next 20. We have 21 days. So I can't believe it's the ninth day already. We have 21 days left. That, come on, that was the first. Let me tell you this, I'm gonna end, because sometimes you can't stop, but I'm gonna end this. Today is, a, we have 21 days left. This was the day that when the angel came to Daniel, he said that from the first day that you prayed, the first day that you prayed, Daniel, I heard you. 
from the first day that you prayed, I heard you. Listen, I know God heard us tonight. I know he did. I don't have to worry. I'm not guessing, thinking. I don't cross my fingers. I know God heard us tonight. So shall it be established. Listen, I love you guys. I could stay on all night with you, but I have to get some sleep because I am tired. But I do. God bless you, Kathy. Amen. Listen, I'm excited about your next. I'm excited about your future. Please, ma'am, please, sir. If the Lord puts it on your heart, my cash app is down here at the bottom. If the Lord puts it on your heart, sow a seed. We have a lot of things that we are endeavoring to do for ministry. Trust me. God is putting a lot on my plate, and I know that I'm able to do it if he gives it to me. If the Lord puts it on your heart, God bless you. Please sow a seed. That is my cash app at the bottom. If not, it is okay. I, you already said that you, were gonna, that, that you were going to intercede for me. But if the Lord puts it on your heart, please sow a seed. Thank you for your intercession. Thank you for keeping me company tonight. I never want to be up here by myself. Never, ever. Listen, I love you guys. May the Lord richly bless you. Amen. And may heaven smile upon you. Marie, I love you. You are special. I don't know what God is doing with us, but I know it's something special. It is something great. And I know he's going to reveal it to us. Amen. I just want to call you my daughter. We probably, I don't know how old you are, but I'm just calling you my daughter. I just, I have a special love for you. Never met you, but there's a special connection there. I love you guys. I know I love you. I love you so much. And I just look forward to what God is getting ready to do. Listen, everybody, I will see you tomorrow night if you can join me again. Good night. Good night. Thank you.